Hello everyone. So this is the same mail day as the Illuminati cards and the football stickers. Those videos may or may not have gone up. And at the same time I had an item that I said was from Japan. And on the same day I had an item that was due from America. If you saw my MGC return video, you'll know that I had this. It's a 2013 sticker. Uh, I don't know if you can see, there's a seam down the middle. So it would be that, that would be the back. You could get it slabbed up, possibly. PSA don't actually grade these stickers yet. But say Beckett would do it, CGC would do it for you, possibly. It would obviously be the front and the back. You would lose this in the middle. Now I spoke to MGC. They said, yeah, listen, we'll grade it like it's a sticker, but we can pull it in a booklet for you, no worries. They did it, and I couldn't be happier. Since this has happened, I bought this sticker. I found it the other day. I paid $14.98 in 2021, I think it was, on the 27th of February. So about 10, 11 pound sticker. Since all this has happened, I started following a bloke on Instagram from Australia. I think his name's Oz Pokemon Collector or something. But I started following his Pokemon account, and I didn't realise I wasn't on my Pokemon account at the time. I was on my, like, random shit account. Um, and he was liking all the random pictures of like, the Japanese horse racing and that. One of the few people who do. I said, oh, just so you're aware, I've actually got a Pokemon account. I thought I followed you on my Pokemon account. So he then followed me on there, and we got to speak in a bit. And he said, um, being in Australia, he does buy quite a lot of stuff, obviously, from Japan, because they're a lot nearer. And he said, oh, I've never seen these stickers. I really like that. I think he liked how they had slabbed it up as well. Um, I said, I've only ever seen two more. I'm following them both on eBay. And one's Aksu in this part here. The back was mixed Pokemon. The other one, I think, was Excadrill. It was a Pokemon that I like. Well, he basically did a... I think he said he did a Google image search or something. Then he found loads of them. And he was like, yeah, mate, what are you after? And I was like, well, in an ideal world, they've got any more evolutions. That's what me and my kid collect. So these both came today. The Pikachu has come from Japan. The Eevee has come from America. So... I'm going to start on the Pikachu. Obviously, the plan is to go back to MGC and get these slabbed up. So you've got Pikachu looking joyous as ever. Celebrating, jumping. There's like the name bar at the bottom. Oh dear, bastard. The other side, you get your Mewtwo, you get your Shiny Genesect. I thought what was quite cool, there is a Dragonite, a Charizard. There's the Axu, who's got his own sticker. The normal Genesect, even Ashes on there. And then you get more of the little Pikachus at the bottom. And obviously I want to get it slabbed up in the same way again, because there's the middle of Pikachu. But this was quite pricey, the next one. Like, these stickers are rare. Like, I haven't seen any more. No one else I've ever shown them to have said, oh yeah, I've got them. Or I've seen them. The bloke found this, and this was higher price, but it's my kid's birthday... God, I don't know what date we're on. It's either next week or the week after. I think it might be the weekend after. Um, and obviously we do collect the evolutions. So to go to our evolution collection, we've got Eevee looking happy, attacking, super happy. But on the back, we've got... Look at that. Each one of these is an individual sticker. I'm sure you can see the cutout line. So you've got all the little evolutions plus Pikachu. And then you've got a big sticker of all the evolutions. So if we compare, we've now got the heads of the evolutions and Sylvie on Pikachu. And now we've got the full evolutions and then all of them in a group with Pikachu. How cool is that? And obviously, the picture online for this one didn't show it open, but I know what they are. So I brought it, having no doubt, and bang, there's the inside. So... I think these are really cool, and I literally just want to say, I'm not sure if he'll ever see the video or anything, but to the bloke on Instagram, like, thank you very much. This is kind of like a hidden jewel in my collection. I don't think anyone else I know has one, and I definitely don't think they've got it slabbed up in a booklet case. And from a little bit of chatting about stuff that he's brought and 
bit of horse racing chat. He said he went to see um, Winks and that uh, Australian horse, obviously he'd been Australian himself and that. He ended up finding these for me. And like fair play to him. Uh, I will say I will never, ever, ever go to Australia because I will never, ever get on a plane. But if I did, I'm a millionaire and they drug me on my own private plane and I get there. There are four things that I would do in Australia. Hide from every single spider in the country. As long as I'm there. Spiders, no, no. I would watch the Melbourne Cup. I would go to Australia Zoo. And I would have a day opal mining and gold mining. Because I love them programs. Literally, fifth on that list now. I'd probably meet up with this geezer, buy him a beer. Because I'm so grateful that this geezer, out of nowhere, complete stranger, found these for like... Just out of the blue. I was like, I can't believe you found them. I said, I'm actually kind of annoyed that you found them so quick. So, there's probably eight or ten more on there. Two of which I'm tempted to buy, but they're high-priced. I won't reveal who they are, etc. Just in case you all go and nick them. But yeah, coming soon, one day. Back to MGC. I'll get these slabbed up. And uh, I think that's really cool. What do you think? Anyway, I will see you all later on. Goodbye.